Now to one of the most serious issues parents face, premature births. In the last 25 years, the number of those births has soared by 30% in this country to more than half a million per year. The trend is so alarming that today the Surgeon General gathered a panel to discuss how to reverse it. The early show's Dr. Emily Sine has more in tonight's Eye on Medicine. <laughs> Rebecca Noto was born at 26 weeks, then spent five months in intensive care. She still faces expensive medical challenges. We consider Rebecca our million dollar baby, uh, literally. Now my turn. Now four and a half, Rebecca is developmentally delayed. She uses a feeding tube, has problems with her lungs, and can't climb stairs. We don't know whether the delays that she has today are still going to be with her in five or ten years' time. And she is part of an alarming trend. The United States is among the worst of the developed countries in the rate of prematurity. According to Dr. Alan Fleischman of the March of Dimes, one out of every eight babies is now born too early. And that costs the United States about $26 billion a year. We need to decrease the numbers of sick babies in our midst. We can't continue to increase prematurity. The federal government is hoping to reverse the trend, which experts say has many causes, including a 75% increase in multiples since 1980. Often twins and triplets conceived through fertility treatments. Rising rates of obesity and diabetes among pregnant women. A high and unexplained prematurity rate among African Americans. And most surprising, a dramatic increase in the number of babies delivered early by choice. If women were supposed to have a baby in 34 weeks, we would deliver in 34 weeks. Dr. Alfred Curry runs the high-risk pregnancy unit at Innova Fairfax in Virginia, one of the nation's busiest labor and delivery hospitals. He worries women are becoming cavalier about delivering early. What we have done is we've started saying, well, 37 is good enough. And my mother-in-law is flying in, and I'd like to have my C-section this week instead of in two weeks. They're all moving? Okay. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Curry's hospital refuses to deliver babies before 39 weeks without a sound medical reason. Good color. He's breathing nice. Neonatologist Robin Baker says late preemies face developmental problems just like babies born much earlier. And it's not uncommon for them to come out and still have respiratory problems. You know, this infant still is at risk of dying. So just because they're born slightly preterm doesn't take their risk to zero. The Surgeon General's conference will release an action plan by the end of the day tomorrow, Harry. So what kind of measures are they considering? I think they're going to talk about reducing or eliminating, if they can, elective C-sections, reducing the number of embryos that are implanted during IVF, mm -hmm. more intensive research into why African Americans have such a high uh, risk of prematurity, and then just general research. Forty percent of the time, we have no idea why babies are born early. Right. Emily Sine, thank you so much.